Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're gonna be testing out Samira versus Lissandra. Should be pretty interesting. I think Samira can be quite strong, but we will have a bit of a difficulty with Lissandra and her kind of anti-aggro mechanics of reducing the amount of cards you can play each round. Now for the star powers we're going with, the first time you damage the enemy nexus each round, the next cards you play cost three less. So some really nice cost reduction right there. And then we have the plus one starting mana. When you play your third card each round, grant allies one, one. Now for the relic setup we're going with, the beast within power allies have overwhelm. And if they have a subtype one, one, this is mostly just for that overwhelm. Really nice to give all of our units that power. And then we have the dreadway chase gun. When I'm summoned, create two warning shots in hand. So you see costs nothing really nice for trying to level up and rally and for that we have crown guard inheritance when i level up rally really nice aggressive build for samira and normally works out pretty well we'll see if it works against lissandra now, if you appreciate all the daily path of champions content definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it all right support champion diana is interesting that double attack is powerful but it's pretty expensive granted we could use some cost reduction so we could play this for a lot cheaper. Does have elusive. Could give another ally elusive. That's does have some potential. Shivana with that scout also strong. I think we will actually go here. There might be times where we don't want to get blocked, even though we have that overwhelm. So that elusive might actually really help us. We can try this out. All right, allies have hollowed. That is a interesting one. I mean, hopefully we don't have that many units dying, though. Uh, welcome gifts can be okay. I think let's try for something a little bit more consistent. I guess we'll go for the inheritance again. We don't really want to have too many of our units dying, but just in case, I guess we'll grab that here. All right, got some gold. Let's see. A one cost and potentially zero cost gotcha. That looks pretty good. That is also very strong. Samira giving her some good scaling. That sounds good. A solid capture on this. It would keep us from getting that zero cost gotcha, but a capture is a very strong effect. So yeah, we can grab it. All right, let's see. Sparring student up here. So down here, we have it that stairs. In the middle, we have the inquisitor. And then here we have She Who Wanders. She Who Wanders wouldn't necessarily be great for us. Although I could see some of the effects from the Remitter actually being pretty strong though. I think let's try to go for the, the middle path. We should have the easiest time against the Inquisitor. So Avaroshian Trapper and at last they awaken. Alright, we start with the attack token because I think the Trapper is hard coded to always make you start with the attack token. Just because the game wants to make it more difficult on you. Uh, yeah, we can hold on to this. They want you to play something, so the enemy will immediately capture it. So even though you have the attack token, you pretty much have to pass. All right, we'll drop our Samira. Use one of these. So we could play our quick attack, Diana. Yeah, that would probably be best. No problem. And we'll play this here just to buff up everyone a little bit more. And I will be heard. this will give them a mana gem, but we don't want them to keep this unit on the board. Let's use one of these. Then we can go ahead and drop this here. And we can go ahead and rally. My mama would love you. Don't hold anything back. I won't. Isn't it thrilling? Blink 
Alright, just want to try to do as much damage as we can. Alright, pretty close to ending. We'll be able to open attack right here. We don't want them to have the chance to play anything. Alright, GG. Alright, Wrathful Rider. That cost reduction is pretty good. Heaven's Align would be a free card. I think we'll go here. That's a big unit that's going to get uh, overwhelmed. We can play it for pretty cheap. Interesting. So this is just shuffle more copies, but the cost wouldn't really help us. Some CC is good. I like making the enemy discard cards, but normally they're not going to have units that are very low as far as power. So I think we'll just have to go for the shield vault. Be the most consistent here. Don't want to deal with the shaman. I hate the shaman. So let's go for the sage. All right, let's get rid of both of these. All right, so we'll lose out on getting the stylus shot back, but I think it's worth it in this situation. Didn't want to have two of those big elusives. All right, so we're not really going to be able to have something too good for our attack. So we can't get our plunder effect off beforehand. Which isn't exactly great. Play this for free and then we'll drop our elegant edge so we're gonna miss out on the barrier but we want to play our third card just buff everything up a little bit more not sure why that made us discard oh the bookie Round start, discard your lowest cost card to draw one. Interesting. All right, I think... Again, I wish we could get this back, but we'll play this here. Leave glory to the soldiers. We get paid. Death is inevitable. I will make it beautiful. So if we wait, they're just going to play bigger green glade scouts. So let's just go ahead and go ahead and attack with what we have. Yeah, sadly, not having our main champion here. So this won't be too bad. Deal one to the enemy Nexus. 
My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. All right, they're making room for us. That's nice. Uh, this does have a massive amount of attack, but getting this plunder effect off will... Or not plunder, getting... Forge all other units. Pretty nice. So a little slow, but that's what happens when you don't draw our main champion. We could get our scout attack off, but shouldn't matter. It lacks authenticity. GG. Alright, pirouette, pretty good. We're already trying to get that plunder, so we're going to be pretty cheap. Deal one to anything and stun an enemy. Pretty great card for us. Alright, Scar Mother. Oof, this will be rough. So Savage and Strong and I am Inevitable. This is one of those rough combos that every time they survive damage, they're just getting insanely strong. Alright, let's get rid of the City Breakers. Yeah, that's okay. No problem. All right, so we're going to try to attack like this. They should try to block and we'll surprise and kill them. Stop this we have to make sure we're pretty much killing their units. Otherwise, they just scale out of control. All right, so I think we have one more card. Oh, nope, we got our three. I helped build this empire. All right, so I think we'll actually play this here. We want to be able to play enough to be able to level up and attack this round. quite a lot of damage, but they do have some pretty big uh, health pools. All right, not bad so far. Oh, Ruined Reckoner, that is very good. Isn't it thrilling? So we'll play this for the cost reduction. Grab our Ruined Reckoner. We'll deal one to anything, and let's go ahead and stun that unit. Let's go ahead and let her attack. And game, GG. Alright, so far, so good. All out, this is Samira's champion spell. It is decent. Nightfall. I think we'll actually go for the rear guard. That would be a decent amount of stats we could throw at the enemy. Another inheritance. Uh, we'll go for the sorcery. Having that extra man to play with will really help us out. All right, Inquisitor. All right. I think we'll get rid of these. I like them, but I want to increase the odds of getting like Samira. Take 
Take the shot or lose the chance. All right, let's do one of these for free. We can then play our rider for free. And we could do a shield vault here to stun that. So we can attack, play this to get another one. And we'll play this just to increase Samira's damage a little bit more. And we are one card away from leveling up. So we will play this here. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Isn't it thrilling? Fling and you miss me. Although I suppose this should be fun. Probably should have played our flare first. We'll miss out on some of the cost reduction. We could drag this over here, but rather kill it with our Samira. Well, I guess this unit will still die. But we don't want to give them the opportunity to attack. So, yes, we'll just go right here. At least all this power is going to hit one of our other units. Right there. Alright, so we are... Four... Four spells away from being able to level up. Don't think we'll quite be able to get there considering we just have two mana. So we'll just attack like this, probably end. If not, we'll be able to rally. Alright, that should be game. GG. Uh, rally banner sounds good. Uh, don't really want to go for the mind meld. So item chest. Getting more copies of this isn't bad, but Shadow Totem, like having a second copy of this massive unit, that's really good. All right, protective Broodfather. All right, let's get rid of the dash and dandy and we can hold on to the rest. So once again, drop our Samira. And sure, let's just do what we did pretty much last time. Gonna have a pretty full board, which is gonna be awesome. The one issue is we're playing all these spells and against uh, Lissandra. She does not like it if you do that. Uh, sure. Well, we'll save this for next round. Let's do a warning shot into this right here, which will give us a rally. Beautiful and brutal, just how I like it. Try to keep up. Alright, so we can kill this unit. Lock that one there. Unworthy prey. All right, that looks fine. No problem. 
Alright, so we will attack. And GG. Uh, start a free attack. Yeah, it's okay. We normally don't play that one very much, but... Maybe it can be a little bit more useful. Uh, create another card in hand. That sounds pretty good. And I like that pirouette. That's not bad. One cost. Reduce my cost by most expensive champion. That's not too bad. Route favorite. Let's see. So, plunder dull my power with the Colossal Hammer. That's actually really good. The Priestess is also really good. But I like the Death's Hand. Although, I guess... Normally, I'd go for the Death's Hand. But against Lissandra, she's going to increase our cost. So, it's not like we can just keep doing this. Like, if we get lucky, keep doing it forever. Because it is going to in get increased back up. So, while I really do like that, I think I'll actually go here. Because Shadow Totem plus Rally is a strong combo. I don't know if I really want to do that there. Let's use a reroll here and see if there's something that's potentially better. So this will normally cost nothing. I think we will actually get the Death's Hand just in case, even if we can't use it the same round, just getting a copy of it back so we can potentially use it next round would be helpful, but it definitely loses less value against Lissandra. All right, Orn with I am Inevitable. All right, Priestess. This is actually... A Decent opening hand, like we want our Samira, but we'll hold on to all these. Alright, so we will play this here because we need to get our plunder effect off. Although I suppose we could actually play this first. Yeah, that'd be okay. Play this, get our plunder, capture their strongest unit. Alright, we can kill this one. And sure, let's try this here. Sad, we lost the 50-50. And sure, let's play this here. We want to always get our three cards for that 1-1 one, one buff if possible. And we're filling up our mana every round, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, once again, let's stun that. Let the matriarchs and their legends die. Sure, we can grab Diana, and we're potentially, we're dragging this aside so it can't block and kill our uh, Demolisher. Alright, we're going to play this for the free attack. That's not too surprising. Sadly, we don't have really too much we can do to trigger our plunder or anything. So I think we'll just pass for now. All right, that's fine. I think we'll drop the Elegant Edge since they're already pretty big for a one drop. You wanted the God of the Forge, you got him. Alright, so we're going to try to put down as much damage as we can. If we had room, we would go for the Priestess, but we don't have the room for both copies. Trust me. Yeah, uh, 
Granted, them having the I am inevitable is not the best. But this is going to be a pretty big hit. GG. Oh, not too bad. I don't really like that ephemeral, though. Let's do a reroll. Okay, getting more copies of this. Not too bad. Emperor's Guard, Healer, or Spell's Chest. I think let's go for the Spell's Chest. Hush is pretty good. Yeah, let's grab that Hush. All right, Lissandra with all things grow cold. So we were able to get to Lissandra without too much difficulty. Uh, we're going to hold on to this and just let it stack up from the inheritance and hopefully end us the game like it just did. But Lissandra has this power right here, kneel or freeze. So this first part, yeah, it's annoying. But the second part, each round after the player plays three cards, the cards cost three more. That is pretty rough for us. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. All right, so we could play our Samira here. I think let's actually play our Priestess. Although our Priestess won't even be able to block. Yeah, I guess we'll drop our Samira. And yeah, we won't bother blocking or really doing too much considering our level up is going to reset and a lot of these have like their shadow totems and whatnot so don't really want to play any of these cards yet Definitely worried about that in Tomb. Alright, so these are both pretty big units. The Rally would be good, but I kind of feel like if we play this, we're going to immediately kill it. None stronger, none more feared. Yep. That's what I kind of thought they were going to do. <laughs> and the Priestess wouldn't have been able to survive. I feel like this would have cost less because of that plunder effect. All right, so we won't be able to kill Lissandra. And the increased cost will help us actually summon a bigger unit here. So we'll stun their Lissandra for now. I'm definitely a little bit worried about them just playing another Ice Shard and killing our entire board. I feel like we'll have to risk it though, but that very well might happen. Yep, there it is. So if this could hit the Nexus, that'd be pretty amazing, because deal damage to the enemy Nexus equal to half its health. That would be huge, but they'll just block with their frost guard, and uh, yeah, that won't won't be the best for us. All right, so they do have some fearsomes and a lot of overwhelm. We probably won't be able to get the plunder effect off, really. So yeah, let's stun that there well that's almost all of our health there's no job too tough for my crew one more ice shard and we are gone sun and sand at his command Remind the 
Alright, so here we have our Samira. Drop this here. That is unfortunate. So really not much that we're going to be able to do because they'll just be able to block and kill all of our units, but they're going to make a ice shard next round because Lissandra's leveled up, which is going to kill our Nexus. So pretty much feel like we don't have much of a choice. Wow, that's bad luck. So one thing we're hoping is to get a lot of power on one of our dash and dandies. So they could try to attack. But yeah, there's just that ice shard and so not really anything we can do there. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, let's get rid of this. And that one. Priestess and Samir are pretty good. We want to get our dashing dandy, one of them if possible. Take the shot or use the chance. These are trolls! That is quite a big unit. Don't think there's really going to be too much we can do to stop him. I guess even just hit, getting him down is not actually going to do too much for us. It is building on our board though and buffing up our Samira. But yeah, attacking here, he can just block and kill us. So I think we'll just have to hold off for now. All things grow cold. All right, here we'll drop the priestess. Find your own light in the darkness. We can drop our Rune Reckoner. So here we have a really strong board, but they just have bigger units that we can't really deal with. Let's attack with what we can. Potentially, we can get some of their units low enough that Samira could maybe stop them. Is 
so we could best. kill their Lissandra. Defiance is our way. Yeah, with their Trundle. I don't think there's really going to be anything we can do to stop that. Bit unfortunate. Silver light. Blink and you miss me. All right, we do have these massive units, which is pretty good. So we'll play one of these. The good thing is, since we're getting two of these, when they die, both of them from their inheritance should go... Oh, well. That's going to happen a little faster than we thought. Yeah, we already triggered the... 1-1 one, one for the round, so these are both just gonna immediately die. Well, they could have killed their Trundle, potentially. Guess let's give Samira Challenger. So she can try to kill someone So that is quite a lot of damage. I was wanting to save this and try to use it a little bit later. I mean, they'll probably entomb it or frostbite it. But we don't have any big blockers or any way to stun him. So we'll just try to play this here. Again, probably a frostbite or entomb incoming. Yep, there it is. Which also means all of those stats from the Inheritance, we're not going to get them. And that is game. GG. Alright, that was Samira versus Lissandra. Feel like there was pretty much nothing we really could have done there at the end, which is a bit unfortunate. Samira is incredibly strong, but Lissandra does have some specific modifiers meant to punish you. And then with those legendary ones, like I'm inevitable. Yep, that's really bad. Uh, but also the one where their units have twice the amount of stats just means we can't really attack. I guess in that specific situation, maybe Samira with like Death's Foil would have been a little bit better. But yeah, pretty rough. Pretty much felt like there was no way we could possibly have won there, which is a little disappointing. Hope you guys enjoyed that, though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.